Imagine a newborn baby's gut as a blank canvas, no brush strokes, no color, just waiting for its first masterpiece. Now picture trillions of tiny artists, bacteria, viruses, fungi, rushing in to paint the first strokes. Welcome to the wild world of the infant microbiome. The microbiome is like a bustling city of microbes living in our gut, and it plays a starring role in digestion, immunity, and even mood. But here's the twist. How this city is built depends heavily on how a baby enters the world and what they're fed in those early days. Let's start at birth. Babies born vaginally get a microbial welcome kit from their mother. Friendly bacteria like Lactobacillus and Bifidobacterium that help kickstart gut health. It's like inheriting a starter pack of good citizens for your microbial metropolis. But babies born via C-section miss out on this handoff and instead pick up microbes from the hospital environment less diverse and not as gut-friendly. Now Q breastfeeding dot breast milk isn't just food. It's a microbial cocktail and a prebiotic buffet. It contains human milk oligosaccharides, HMOs, which babies can't digest but their gut bacteria love. Think of HMOs as fertilizer for the good bugs. Breastfed babies tend to have more bifidobacteria, which help train the immune system and keep inflammation in check. Here's where it gets interesting. Studies show that early microbiome composition can influence everything from allergy risk to obesity later in life. One landmark study in Nature found that C-section babies had delayed microbiome development, which correlated with higher rates of asthma and eczema. Another study in Cell Host and Microbe revealed that breastfed infants had more stable and resilient gut ecosystems. But wait, there's more. The gut and brain are in constant conversation via the gut-brain axis. A well-balanced microbiome can support better sleep, mood regulation, and even cognitive development. Tiny microbes, big impacts, so what can parents do? If breastfeeding is possible, it's a powerful tool for shaping a healthy gut. For C-section babies or formula-fed infants, don't worry. There are ways to support gut health, like probiotic supplements, with pediatric guidance, skin-to-skin -skin contact, and minimizing unnecessary antibiotics. In the end, Nurturing a baby's microbiome is like tending a garden. With the right seeds and soil, it can flourish into a vibrant ecosystem that supports lifelong health. Every tiny microbe matters, and every choice in those early days helps build a foundation for a healthier, happier future.